Today, I am really excited to show you these outfits because it is going to show you just how versatile a blazer can be in your closet. You can wear a blazer year round and you can wear it with a lot of things. And today I'm gonna to show you how to wear it with shorts. And there are specific things that I think come into play when you're creating outfits with blazers and shorts. And there are things that don't look very good. So I'm gonna show you both of those examples. I hope you enjoy this and we'll go ahead and jump into the outfits. So I have three really important tips for you. One, wear open necklines underneath your blazer to open up the middle section, draw the eye down and not look so stuffy. Two, you wanna wear sleeveless or short sleeve to save from having any bulkiness and to keep you cool. And then number three, keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate your outfit. Put simple pieces together that are light colors. You can even do monochromatic looks if you want to, and they look really good. So don't overcomplicate it. The first blazer I wanted to show you is actually the most complicated to style in my mind, and it's the double-breasted blazer. And this one is a gingham print, so it's really busy. So I was just thinking really simple for this underneath. I did a fitted bodysuit that's tucked into a Bermuda denim short. You don't have to do the denim. You could do a different type of Bermuda short, but I wanted to make this pretty casual. And I did add a really cute belt and some accessories to make it look a little better. And I did a nude heel for this because I needed to add some height to my body. I am 5'4 for reference. And so if you're 5'4 and below and you wear an overwhelming big blazer like this, you really need to put on either a heel or a wedge, something that gives you some height because it will proportion the outfit better on your body. If you are taller, <laughs> no need to worry. You don't have to wear a heel. You can just wear a flat and it's probably gonna work perfect for you. But the idea here is the shorts are longer. They peek out of the blazer four inches or so. And I just think that creates a good proportion. And I did want to show you a dressier version with this blazer. So I added a white pair of shorts that are a little bit nicer. They are a little bit shorter, but they still hang out enough where I thought they looked really good. My favorite way to wear this was with it buttoned up because I thought this blazer had a really good nip in the waist and an A-line hem. So it made my rectangle shape look more like an hourglass shape. So I really liked that version and I thought the monochromatic look underneath it went really well. And I stuck with the nude heels, but if you wanted to do a white shoe, I think that would work too. And if you are taller, <laughs> I wanna say that this not that version would work, but if you are shorter in 5'4", the not that version is do not wear flats. The flats do not flatter this blazer at all or any of these outfits. I wanted to show you this because I want you to see how big the blazer looks on the body and how much longer it looks because my body is now shorter and so I don't have the lengthening in my legs to give my body better proportions. So I have two different looks to show you with this pink blazer. And the first one is layered with a lighter pink t-shirt that is a scoop neck. So that's an open neckline that looks really good. And then I just front tucked the t-shirt into my ripped up relaxed fit denim shorts. And these are a mid length, so they're not a Bermuda, they're not as long. And I thought the proportions went really well with this blazer. Since this blazer is more single breasted, not double breasted, I think there's less material, so it doesn't look as overwhelming. I know it's a little bit longer, but since it is more fitted to the body and <laughs> not as loose, I thought it looked really good with the more relaxed fit and shorter shorts. And I did put this outfit with my Golden Goose sneakers because I wanted you to see that something like this you could do with a flatter shoe if you are shorter. So this is actually one of my favorite everyday outfits that I would just throw on and go. And I would also put the white v-neck tank underneath it like I have here. And so the next outfit with the pink blazer is with a print top that is sleeveless but it's got a cute little ruffle collar and I wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you a little bit more of a dressed up version and with a print underneath it. Now I think this print with the colors of it is still pretty simple and I thought a way to feel a little bit more dressed up in this is to just add the nude heel again. You could do a wedge or an espadrille. You could even do white if you wanted to but I really loved the nude because my eye just doesn't stop at the shoe. It just kind of keeps going and I think it makes me look taller so but you can absolutely do whatever works for you. 
I know that colored and print shorts are pretty popular for spring and summer, so I wanted to show you an option to wear blazers with them. And so I have a pair of aqua shorts. These are about four inches in length, so they are a pretty short short. And what I paired with them is my white linen blazer because this blazer is very classic. It is shorter, so it doesn't go past my hip line. And I thought it was a really good match with just putting the white v-neck tank top underneath it and then a pair of flat sandals. So you have a more structured blazer that's shorter. You have a shorter pair of shorts and I think those are well proportioned together. And then that's why the flats would work on someone that is shorter or taller. So now let's look at a classic, more serious blazer style that's longer and open in the front. So this one has no buttons and it's just completely open. So I think it fits really nice on the body, but it's very, very straight down. And so for this, since it is longer, I added my Bermuda shorts to this, my denim shorts. If you have another pair of Bermudas that would work, that's fine. I'm actually doing items that I had on hand for this video. so. Um, the Bermuda shorts, the longer shorts look the best, and I just wanted a relaxed fit top to just kind of create a more relaxed look with that serious blazer. This goes back to the contrast style dressing where you can put different styles of items together, and I think this is a very good example. I did want to show you some espadrilles with one of, the, one of these outfits, so I put on my white espadrilles and I thought they were really great with this. Plus they are really tall. They're taller than my heels. And I felt like with that longer blazer that I really needed that height. And so now I'm gonna show you what this looks like with a pair of flat sandals. <laughs> and this is not a great look for me. If you're taller, again, you could do this, but this blazer is super long. So you have to remember to take care of your proportions when that happens. If you're shorter, just add some length to your legs. And then I wanted to show you this with the different shorts. And these are not that versions in my mind. So I put on the mid-length shorts with this and the strings and bottom hem just peaked out slightly. And I just did not think that that was a very good look. And then you put on a pair of even shorter shorts, which I'm showing you these short denim shorts. They are the shortest pair I have. And you literally can almost not see them at all. And to me, a lot of people love this look. And I do not because when someone sees you from a side profile or even from behind, it looks like you don't have anything on underneath your blazer. And so to me, I'm just not crazy about that look. If you like it, that's totally fine, you do you, but it's, in my opinion, not the best way to wear these outfits. So if you are super casual, you don't wear heels, you don't like sandals, which I don't know if there's anyone that doesn't like sandals, but maybe, um, if you live in sneakers, then this is going to be the outfit for you. So if you want to wear a blazer with outfits like that, I think the best option for you is to find a knit blazer. So cotton knit, you can find rayon knits and anything that looks really casual. And so I have this knit blazer on that I got from Loft a few years ago. It's one of my favorites and I wear it year round, but I really love it dressed casually. So I have just put on the v-neck t-shirt again. It's actually a tank top and I front tucked it with my relaxed fit shorts and put on my white sneakers. And this is where you can really get away with wearing sneakers when your blazer is very casual and made to not look like it belongs to a suit because there are a lot of blazers like that, but this one is very casual and it works really well. So if you're interested in any like that, I will link some below for you, but it needs to be more of a knit. I saved the two most controversial outfits for last and you either love these or you hate these. And so the first one I wanna talk about is definitely a fall transition outfit. So is the next one. And I wanted to include some of these cooler weather outfits in here because I just think this is a perfect way to transition into fall and even wear an early fall. So the first outfit is taking an oversized longer boyfriend blazer that is plaid. And this is very much geared towards fall. I would not wear this in the summer. I would wear it to transition. And 
you know, it's during that season where you want to look more fall, but it's still kind of summertime. And so this was that perfect option for me. And I just put a gray t-shirt underneath it that I front tucked and I did put on the Bermuda shorts because they are longer and this blazer is longer. So the proportions work. And then I added a pair of ankle boots. And this is where we get into the controversy because Nobody seems to like this look, and I really don't understand why. So explain to me, if you hate this look, why you hate this look. And tell me you hate the look that I have on. So this ankle boot is a lighter color, so you don't stop at the ankle. It's not super obtrusive, and it just kind of flows really nicely down the leg. And it does have a heel, because I do recommend a heel, something to give you height if you are 5'4 or below with an outfit like this, because the blazer is so large and overwhelming. And this one was a tough one for me to style, and I have put it with a lot of things, and I really loved it this way, which is why I wanted to include it in this video. And I'm still stumped about this. So I really wanted to show you a way that I think people probably wear this type of outfit with ankle boots that is an absolute no-no in my mind. So look at this version. I put on a darker ankle boot. This ankle boot actually has a taller shaft and a wider shaft. So it looks a little clunky on my feet and it's flat. So you can see that the flat shoe doesn't look that good. And it just makes your eye stop at my ankle. It becomes the focus and it just looks pretty terrible. And so I wanted to show you contrasting outfits and say, this is really a great looking way to wear an ankle boot. And this is really not. And so I would really, really honestly love your opinion. And if you really hate this, why you hate it? Because I think it's pretty wonderful and really cool style. So this next one is kind of the same way and I get a lot of hate on this and it's biker shorts with blazers. And I think the combination is really cool. And the combination that I love is pairing an oversized graphic t-shirt, maybe even a band tee and putting a blazer over it. And I have done more of a monochromatic look here and I think that does look the best. Um, and this is perfect for fall transition and wearing an early fall. And then I'd put a black sneaker on with it because I do love black sneakers and this is my other pair of golden goose that I love. I've had them for about four or five years. So I think this look is amazing for those of you that really love athleisure, that really love just lounging around your house and biker shorts and oversized t-shirts. If you were doing something at home and you had to run out somewhere, instead of throwing on a moto jacket or a um, denim jacket, throw on your cool black blazer and you've got a really stylish athleisure look. And I think it's really fun and very unexpected. I hope you stuck around for the bonus content because I really wanted to show you what I use to hold my sleeves up on my blazers because I do think that it looks better if you scrunch the sleeve up a little bit and you don't want to be fooling with it all day long. And so a lot of people have recommended just the regular hair rubber bands. And to me, those are small. Even when they stretch out, they're not even comfortable on my wrists and I have a really small wrist. So what I tried and what I use that works are the hair bands that are really gentle on your hair. The ones that stretch out pretty good Good. They have they're tied at the end or knotted at the end so you can kind of determine how tight you want them and all I do is take that and I pull up my sleeve so I scrunch the sleeve up and I have just the end on my forearm straight and I put the hair tie above that straight part that I want to stay and everything else is scrunched up above it. So, and I usually put that above my elbow and then I'll just take the material and fold it back down over the hair tie so it's completely covered and make sure you do fold it in the back as well. And then just kind of play around and scrunch it the way you like it. And I promise you it is going to stay all day long and it's going to look really good. So I have worn that in this video the entire time and it takes me a couple of hours to do these videos and my arms feel completely fine. And what you don't want is for your arm to fall asleep. <laughs>
and it's really comfortable it works and if you have a blazer like i did in this video with the elbow patch you can always put that tie below the elbow just make sure it's above the part that you just want straight down on your arm and it really works so try it and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and please let me know what you think in the comments below and a thumbs up if you loved it and i will catch you guys next time